in this video, we'll introduce you to the IJ Scan Utility. The IJ Scan Utility can be found in your list of programs or applications in a folder labeled Canon Utilities. On Windows PCs, the IJ Scan Utility is installed with the MP drivers when you first install the software for your printer. On Macs, you may see IJ Scan Utility, IJ Scan Utility 2, or IJ Scan Utility Lite, depending on your model. When you open the IJ Scan Utility, First, check to make sure the correct printer is selected. At the top of the window, you'll see the product name. This should show the series of the device you're using. For example, the TR8520 would say the TR8500 series. If you're connected over your wireless network, you'll see the word network at the end. Now, let's go over the buttons on the IJ Scan Utility and briefly describe their functions. You can click Photo to initiate a scan with settings suitable for photos, or click Document to sharpen text in a document or magazine for better readability. Choosing the Photo Scan option will save your scan as a JPEG by default. However, you can choose to save your photo in TIFF or PNG format. Scanning using the Document option will save your file as a PDF. Auto Scan will automatically determine if you're scanning a photo or document and save the file accordingly. Click Custom to create advanced scan settings to scan according to your preference. Stitch will allow you to scan items that are larger than the platen and combine the images back into one image. You can scan items up to approximately twice as large as the platen glass. On newer models, there are additional buttons. The options available will vary by printer model. On the bottom of the window, you may find buttons for instructions and settings. Some models may not have the Instructions button. When you choose Settings, select the Scan Mode you'll be using from the left side of the screen, and then choose the Save In option. This will allow you to select what folder you'd like your scan to be saved in. If the folder you're looking for is not listed, choose Add in the drop-down box for additional options. In this section, you also have the option to change the scan resolution, name, whether to scan one or two sides of each document, and what application opens when the scan is complete. When you finish reviewing the settings, click OK. Clicking on one of the scan modes will initiate scanning. For additional help with scanning, please visit our YouTube channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.